Hi everyone! In today's video, we'll be scraping Google Maps results using SERP API and Node.js. First, you need to sign up for a free account at serpapi.com. You can use either your Google or GitHub account or an email and a password. After that, you can go to your account's dashboard and copy your API key from there. Now that you have your API key, let's install the packages that we'll be using. First, we need to install the SERP API package. Then let's go ahead and install .env package as well. I went ahead and created a .env file, which contains my actual API key, and a main.js file. We can now start importing the packages that we'll be using. Let's import get.json from the SERP API package. We will also be using the util package to prettify the output in the terminal. And we need to import the .env package as well. We can now retrieve our API key from the environment variables so that we can use it as a parameter in our requests. We are now ready to make a simple request using the getjson method. Let's start adding the parameters to our request. First, we pass our API key and then specify the search engine. Next, we specify the search query. We'll be using coffee in this example, but feel free to change it with any other keyword or phrase. Then we set the Google domain. We need to specify the GPS coordinates of a location for where we want to perform our search. Finally, we set the type of the request as search and add the HL localization parameter. We can now go ahead and execute our script in the terminal. Let's take a look at the response. We can see that we have information like the type of the business, its address and website, operating hours, position in the results, title and place ID, and more. By default, Google Maps returns 20 results per request. If we want to retrieve more, we need to paginate through the results. We can do this using the start parameter. It defines the offset and skips a given number of results. By setting its value to 20, we can retrieve the next page of results. We can keep increasing the value of the start parameter until we can get all of the available results. Ok, now instead of logging the whole response in the terminal, let's extract the place ID, title and address of each place and log that instead. Each of the results returned are contained inside the local results array. We can do this by looping over the local results array using a for each loop. Now we have this information printed in our terminal for each of the places in the response. Let's try to retrieve more information about a specific place now. To do this, we can use the place ID for any of the entities returned in our previous response. When sending a request with a place ID parameter, we can omit the other optional parameters in it. We can now see that in the response we have more detailed information about the specific place. Instead of a local results array, we now have a place results object in the response. Besides the title, data and place IDs, this object contains information like the rating summary, extensions, questions and answers, a more detailed user review section and more. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.